Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking at a book from Ashgate Publishing Limited called Cultural Criminology, and it's been edited by Jeff Ferrell and Keith Haywood. It's this book here. It forms part of the Library of Essays in Theoretical Criminology, and it, as I say, published by um, Ashgate. That's the spine of it. It's a heavy book, just under 600 pages long. There's a very useful name index, and then after that, um, a more detailed general index. The name index is particularly important for sources, as we know in criminology, rather than having case law. You have uh, name law, if you like, the names of people. The only thing that's a little bit surprising is a little typeface. One sort of typeface there for one essay, another typeface with a little diagram there. And then all sorts of other little typefaces. Let's find them. There we go, that sort of thing here. What you have got are some useful um, <coughs> background pieces of information. Some nice pictures here. For instance, of graffiti, which gives you an idea of the sort of subject matter. What you do have, though, are useful footnotes at the back of each of the publications, marked as references. And it fill, falls very much in line with the sort of material that one uses in criminology, and it's, it's the stuff I would certainly have referred to years ago when I was editing my um, LLB textbook. We've given it a title, uh, my wife and I, um, called What Causes Crime? You Tell Me or Read This Book, because cultural criminology is really a, sort of emerging, if you like, as a new label for some of the things that have been happening more recently. We've uh, started off with a quote, which I think is worth referring to. The quest to establish the causes of crime has been one of the most elusive searches confronting humankind, observed both Jeff Ferrell and uh, Keith Haywood in this new book on a contemporary criminology thread, i.e. cultural criminology, which no doubt will emerge as an important contribution to this field in this century. And that's certainly the way in which this book is going with the points that it is raising. Criminology, as of course many of us know, is one of the social sciences and thus employs scientifically based methods and mindsets to seek out the answer or answers to the pivotal question around which it revolves. In other words, what causes crime? And as the editors explain, criminology's central focus is the systematic examination of the nature, extent and causes of crime. And as I say, this volume uh, usefully compiles and presents a collection of some 22 learned essays from well-known academics, each an expert in their field, and it's the latest in the series of the Library of Essays in Theoretical Criminology. It's a useful addition to the debate that has been raging for some time within criminological circles as to where we're actually going with the way we, we look at and label aspects of criminology. Um, I certainly found it an interesting book. It's uh, obviously fairly detailed, um, leans a little bit towards the American side on some matters as well, but I, I do feel that they've actually achieved, in, in linking all the essays together, a useful statement for those certainly preparing for their academic examinations and those who are more interested in the general aspects of criminology if they're not looking at either from a legal perspective or for their professional duties. Um, the book is laid out in six sections, including, uh, as I say, the dynamics of cultural criminology itself, which I think is a very important area to look at. Each article has been lifted word for word out of a publication of origin for inclusion in, in this volume, and I think the thing, the actual thing works. I appreciate the typefaces are a little bit uh, different from time to time, but it's the content we're interested in. It's definitely a book for criminologists, socio sociologists and professionals in related or relevant fields, and I think the criminal bar would find it of interest too. So here in one handy volume, you've got a wealth of theoretical discussion, as well as illustrative uh, examples of how theory may be applied. I think the important thing is uh, there are obviously a large number of references, again at the end of each of the sections. The question is, does it shed more light on the causes of crime? And I think probably the answer is yes, it does, as much as criminology ever can or, or actually will do. And its main advantage, in, in my view, lies in its orientation toward the 
the contemporary and the modern. And in that respect, it perhaps has more relevance to and promotes a deeper understanding of the almost intractable social problems which plague society today. Yep, Cultural Criminology is indeed a good title for what we face now. So thank you to the two authors, which I, I believe have done a, a really good job here. That's Jeff Ferrell and uh, Keith Haywood. And thank you also to Ashgate Publishing. Bye-bye.